The Obamas' vacation just came to a sudden end after getting the worst news of their lives, we all know how former President Barack Hussein Obama likes to spread the wealth. But not enough to give up his pension payment of $207,800 from us overburdened American taxpayers. President Obama has the money to take his six months long and counting vacation around the world. Where he has stayed at the most lavish villas and luxurious resorts Europe has to offer. But now one United States congressman has had enough and has decided to do something about it. U.S. Congressman Jason Chaffetz wants to pass a law where if any former president makes over $400,000 a year, they automatically forfeit the pension for that particular fiscal year. Sounds logical to me considering we have a $20 trillion debt. Let's use our 44th president as an example. Barack Obama's a.k.a. Barry Soetero run for the presidency helped him sell millions of copies of his two books, Dreams of My Father and the Audacity of Hope, during the campaign. In addition in 2009, the president earned an advance for an abridged version of Dreams for Young Adults. This deal made him the first sitting president to receive a book advance while in office. But just like in the case of the Clintons, the real money will be made in the years to come when he earns tens of millions of dollars a year giving speeches full-time. Not bad for a failed president. Via the Conservative Post, Congress has put Barack Obama on notice that his generous government pension could be taken away if he keeps living like a celebrity. Obama's behavior since leaving office has only cemented the fact that he's an elitist. From partying on yachts with Hollywood stars to raking in millions of dollars in book deals and speaking fees, Obama's doing anything but retire with class and grace. He certainly wasn't the people's president, and there's no reason the people should be subsidizing his lavish lifestyle. USA Today reported that Congress is taking another look at a bill that would cancel pension payments to past presidents if they earn $400,000 or more in a fiscal year. Unsurprisingly, Obama himself vetoed that bill when it was first introduced. Obama had already put the wills of his post-presidency cash machine in place and wasn't about to let Congress derail his plans. But now that he's out, Congress is going after Obama. And Celebrity Net Worth reports, Barack Obama net worth, $40 million Barack Obama's salary $400,000 Barack Obama net worth and salary, Barack Obama is a former senator from Illinois and the 44th President of the United States who has a net worth of $40 million. Barack Obama served one term in the Illinois Senate and is the first African-American president of the United States. Barack Obama was born in Honolulu, Hawaii, and is a graduate of Columbia University and Harvard Law School. While at Harvard Law School, he was the president of the Harvard Law Review. During law school, Obama worked as a community organizer in Chicago. After graduation Obama worked as a civil rights attorney in Chicago and from 1992 to 2004 he taught constitutional law at the University of Chicago Law School. One of the events that brought him national attention was his keynote address at the Democratic National Convention in July 2004. Barack Obama was elected as the 44th President of the United States in November 2008, and took office in January 2009. Barack Obama net worth, how he earned it, Barack Obama earned his net worth primarily from the sales of his books The Audacity of Hope and Dreams of My Father. Barack's wallet began to expand after his much-praised keynote speech at the 2004 Democratic National Convention that marked his explosion onto the national conscience. As Obama's profile rose, so did sales of his 1995 book Dreams from My Father, A Story of Race and Inheritance. In 2005, the Obama's income grew from around $200,000 to a combined $1.7 million. In 2006 the Obama's reported income of $916,000. Barack's second book Audacity of Hope, released in October 2006, was a massive hit, selling millions of copies and rocketing the Obama's income to $4.2 million in 2007. Their income continued to swell in the following years thanks to Barack's 2008 successful campaign and election. To this day, Barack Obama earns $3.75 for every hardcover copy and $1.12 for every paperback he sells. In February 2017, it was reported that Barack and Michelle Obama would be receiving a $60 million advance for the combined rights to their autobiographies.
The Obama Family Income History, 2000, $240,000 2001, $272,759 2002, $259,394 2003, $238,327 2004, $207,647 2005, $1,655,106 2006, $983,826 2007, $4,139,965 2008, $2,656,902 2009, $5,505,409 2010, $1,728,096 2011, $789,674 2012, $662,076 2013, $481,098 2014, $477,383 total. $20,183,579 How much does the president make? President Barack Obama's base salary was $400,000 a year. He also had access to a $150,000 expense account as well as a $100,000 tax-free travel account and $20,000 entertainment budget. Let's examine these numbers. President Barack Hussein Obama had a base salary of $400,000 a year. He had access to a $150,000 expense account for whatever he craved, such as flying out pizza chefs from Chicago to make him a damn pizza. And why does the leader of the free world need $20,000 for entertainment? I know many people who currently live on less than $20,000 a year. While this charlatan was telling us we should stop going on vacation to places like Las Vegas during the Great Recession, he was living the lifestyle of the rich and famous on our dime. This should be considered treasonous. Please share if you agree the US presidency shouldn't be a stepping stone to amassing a net worth of over $40 million. Please do not forget like on videos, and subscribe, and comment because your voice matters, and visit our page on Facebook, and like them and follow up. And thanks for watching.